Hey there again folks, welcome back to my Let's Play of Never 7, The End of Infinity, and uh, I think I might be screwed, I think I was right, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm good on Saki's path, let's, let's have it speeding through it as I'm talking, yeah, I think I might have screwed up, so, but no worries, we're going to, uh, this actually might be where it, Yeah, I'm thinking we screwed up now. Cause I'm betting that Saki would have uh, approached us if uh, if it was the case. Hmm. Let's go with scissors. Let's scissors. They're the most aggressive of it, so maybe that would be Saki. Go! Everyone releases their hands simultaneously. Wait, Saki! I keep forgetting that Saki's not here, though. Huh? <laughs> True to her word, you can release his tap fisted rock. Early scissors, you can mouse the silent of the hail. Immediately avoid her gold glare while shaking the other's hands. Azimstan has rock. Okahigo also has rock. And let me, Haruka. Also has scissors, okay. Yes, my logic failed. Yeah, I'm thinking it failed. I think I'm going to pause the video. Yeah, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to uh, keep it going. And if I get anywhere, uh, I think uh, might be on Saki's path, then I will resume. If not, I'm going to start all over, then when I get further signs or something different, I know one thing I would want to do different, one thing I know, uh, though I don't know why exactly I need to do there, um, but, that, but there is one thing, I'll resume one way or the other, this will not be the end of the video, see you in a moment. All right, I think this is uh, where uh, Haruka winds up going off uh, when they go fishing. As soon as I chose go fishing, I decided, Ew. since Haruka and Saki don't like each other, this probably was a bad choice to do. Perhaps that was the problem to begin with. But uh, last time I said, here, I'll help you up, uh, Haruka. This time I'm just gonna continue to look at Haruka. Like, uh. Oh, wait, no, she didn't fall. She's just kind of in a daze, wasn't she? Anyway. Continue to look at Haruka. Haruka versus her gaze for me. Even so, I continue to peer into Haruka's eyes. As if I don't want to lose sight of them again. As if I don't want her to forget about me. I was looking for you. In that moment, Haruka's eyes suddenly overflow with tears. Okay, yeah, that, that, this is new stuff. She, she lets out small sobs. Her teardrops fall into the sandy beach, falling down one by one. Haruka! Okay, I'm... Yeah. Alright, be back. You know, it just struck me that I actually haven't got any just clear-cut bad endings, uh, but this could be it. <laughs> uh, I've been, I've been, de been detached from Haruka, been kind of detaching myself from Yuka as best as I can. <laughs> uh, I think I failed on Saki, so this could, if there is a clear-cut bad ending, but dude, you, you truly failed this game, this could be it, which why not? Let's shoot for that. So this time we're going to take the bell away from the girl by force. 
Oh, they don't, she don't uh, go like, cops, cops. You know, and uh, Makoto gets arrested because that would be, uh, be kind of uh, awkward. When I run over to the girl, I wrap my palm around her small fist. Listen carefully. This bell is a very dangerous thing. You have it, and terribly da terrible things may happen to you. So give that bell to. Is it, are you a weirdo? Huh? You're a weirdo too, aren't you, man? Yeah, okay. The girl looks back and forth between you and I restlessly. And then all of a sudden, she lets out a loud shrill scream. <laughs> Mama. Surprised, I come to my senses. The girl waves my hand off of her and runs off, runs over to the entrance of the park with noisy, faltering steps. A married couple looks at us with a suspicious glance. Naturally, we can't chase them. Naturally, otherwise you would look like strange people who... I don't know. Alright, so yeah. I guess... If I can't win big, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to fail big. New new goal here. A constantly adapting set of uh goals. Yeah, it's worth doing what missing the first time. Alright, well, I'm gonna pause it here. Uh, you show your. Uh, wow, that's fascinating. A very strange dream. Very, very strange dream. There's no... there's Look, there's absolutely no alternative ways to interpret the statement there. Yes, he needs to stop sleep talking. Okay, so there's this whole thing here, this whole conversation. I thought there was a choice there. We're gonna try to screw it up. <laughs> it really is easy to get on the Yuga's path. There are the hot springs. I wish I hadn't have chosen her. I wish I would chose the part where uh, where Okahiko screams at the farts. It's what I should have done. I didn't do it though. I chose the. Uh, the yuka, uh, the the, the non-voluntary wrestling that she uh, put Makoto through. Riga falling into Moon Beach. Izumi Sen falling into the pool. Car's battery was dead. Her dinner on the third would be stew. We we're all of it. Why did that stop there? Weird. Is that it? Is that really it? So did I miss <clears throat> miss an event? Because I was thinking all that stuff was kind of a preset to where it had to happen. Hmm. Swear, didn't you? I'll never go back to that shrine. <clears throat> <laughs> Rush out of Lodge. Okay. You're fine with the top, aren't you? Why did you come here? You knew how dangerous it was. Yuka doesn't respond. She doesn't even show a single sign that she'll answer. 
The pillars of the shrine occasionally creak as the sea breeze blows against them. Yeah, it's really hard to miss Yuka. I was trying to fail. Hmm. Now we're... And skill. Escape. Escape. Okay, well. Hmm. I guess that there's a. Is, is there an ending for the. Uh, just the one time loop where you do so badly you don't get a second loop? Uh. With a specific girl. Alright, well, I'm gonna pause it. And I will start again on, uh, on, uh, Saki. Alright, well, start over again. And, uh, first off, I de decided not to defend Okuhiko. Uh,. It seemed to have been a problem last time. You know, she does side with him pretty easily, so... Uh, I don't know if he... he he's, kind of inter he's kind of interfering. He's kind of being a third wheel. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, this is the bicycle scene, which means we don't need a tricycle. So, meaning he... That might be the right thing to do. I'm also thinking maybe it shouldn't be so mean with it. That was pretty funny last time, but let's... See if uh, not being mean to her, not teasing her, uh, is the right thing to do. Saki immediately cleans them back, just as I thought. It seems Saki has a phobia of bikes. No, a phobia of speed. Don't want to torment her, so I pedal slowly. <laughs> she, she's, she's afraid of. She's afraid of speed. She uh, she only watches the uh, like the uh, bumper cars. She don't watch the uh, big NASCAR races. You know. She likes to uh, she goes she likes to go uh, 25 miles per hour in the uh, 55 uh, mile per hour speed limit. Uh. <laughs> is that a real phobia? I mean, I guess it kind of is, but. At first, Saki was so scared that her arms were wound tight around me, but she got used to it after a while. Now she has a single hand lightly propped against my back. Hey. Hi. No, that's nothing. That's the, one of the awkwardest things in, the, in, in, in these anime, uh, anime type stuff. Because that's something that very rarely happens in real life. You just go, hey, uh... Nah. I don't think it happens. It's quiet between us. Never try to talk to her, so he just bluntly retaliates. This is a giddy anywhere. The atmosphere has become quite awkward. Guess this is the opposite of time flies when you're having fun, huh? I know things would be going this slow. I should have sped up even if it would have scared her. I don't think about that. We soon approach a long decline. It's neither steep nor is it gentle. Because of our combined weight, the bike is going to speed up from the climb. We're going to go faster. Hang on tight. Mm. So I can respond with a faint, trembling voice that and nods. She her arms around me again. I begin to pedal towards the hill. Ah! Woo! Shit, we're going too fast. We're sliding down the hill, hill road faster than I expected. So I can cling to my body with all her might. With this bulging sensation to get to the back, I start to think that this isn't so bad. Just against your back? Very sorry. I'm very, very sorry for that. Yeah! Speed I reluctantly reach for the brakes after hearing Saki scream this over and over. Where are the brakes in the... Ah, uh, here. Huh? I start to get the feeling that something's wrong and nothing happens. Back shows no signs of slowing down at all. Oh, crap. Break, 
So he screams hysterically. Um. It seems the brakes aren't working. <laughs> Hello, this is your pilot speaking. I believe our brakes are inoperable at the moment. Please hug your tats. Try not to crap your pants. I'm dead serious. I mean, I'm not dead serious, but I am serious. The brakes aren't working. Let's not to use the word dead in this sentence here. That doesn't make things feel better for the parties involved. To say that the bike needs fixing is putting it lightly. There are parts loose here and there. The chain is disconnected and loose. The Zoom Center needs to learn how to take better care of vehicles. She does! She really does. She, she, uh, the, 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 the van truck thing needs to be better taken care of too. Wait, if the brakes aren't working. Tuggy yeah! scream echoes around us. Her grip tightens even more. Pit. Try to think of ways of how I can reduce our speed. I'm drawing a blank. Tuggy's loud screams continue because screaming stop at a vehicle whose brakes aren't, brakes aren't working is a, is a great way to slow it down and stop it. It's the voice activated brakes. The back rampage continues. Suddenly I see a curve ahead of us. I instantly turn the handle. Oh, my arms are being pinned down due to Saki's arms. Wait, we can't turn. It seems Saki's terror has reached its peak. As she's falling into panic, naturally she can't see the curve in front of us. Idiot, let go of my arm, there's a curve. <laughs> and so we've co finally come back. <laughs> that was that was quite a bit of new stuff. Hmm. I don't know if that's better or worse than the last time. I'm gonna say smile would probably be the better option there. I don't know. I want to actually smile. <laughs> It'd probably be amusing. You were to faint and wind up with his face in, in, in the uh, in, in the in the plate of food. Agree with her. Look at her face. I'll resume when we get to uh, to uh, something uh, something new possibly. This time, I think I'm actually gonna say honestly, I'm worried about Kurumi too. See if this makes any sort of a difference. I figure this is a requirement for uh, Kurumi's ending. Rick's words make me kind of uneasy. It's not rare for people to have headaches. Normally, I think I'd probably be able to just shrug up Haruki's concern. However, I suddenly remember the bell I found on the beach last night. What if that dream really has a premonition? Prim what? what if that dream really was a premonition? And what if the girl in that dream was Krumi? It's everybody! <laughs> I finally shake my head in order to drive these unpleasant delusions away. I'm probably overthinking this because I'm a little nervous. There's only one or two. Are two nightmares. These thoughts still don't make me any less worried. If I go to the pool in this state, I won't be able to stop thinking about this and have fun. Alright, I've got it! My mind is already set. I'll go back and check up on Krumi once more. Oh crap, this is going on now. Uh oh. I think I need to go back. I don't. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut that there, and uh, 
And, uh, crap. Dang it. Okay, well, yeah. Because that would definitely be something for screwing me through. So we will, we will see the rest of the scene. Probably next, uh, route. If we ever get on Saki's route, anyway. I shall return. Okay, this is something I think I missed last time. Uh, I think this is the part where I can get some Saki points. You could trick me last time. Multiple times. Or time before last. Yeah, time before last. Yeah, it was two episodes ago, right? Now for sure, get a drink was Yuka's choice. You know, draw. Uh, I guess swim recklessly. Yuka is kind of reckless, so... I guess that fits you. So, uh... Yeah. Saki's here at the pool, so this would this should be a part where you can have some interaction with her. Dive like a dolphin. And get a drink. Go go on the slide as you could uh Haruka's thing. Zumi doesn't seem like that much of a drinker. And Saki... Well, her name is a drink. Only an, with an uh, eye except for an E. Right? Yeah. So, uh... <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna get a drink. We're gonna, we're gonna get a drink. Not Coca-Cola. Head over to the drink stand in order to quench my thirst. On the way there, I see Saki lying down on the deck chair. Yeah, good, 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 good. Her dazzling marble-like white skin makes it clear that she's been well-bred, as expected. Hmm. I just stand <laughs> Is that what he's doing right there? Just <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not gonna freak her out when uh, she wakes up or opens her eyes. What if I should say something? No, just keep staring there, you know, like a like a real creep, creepy guy. Her dazzling body. What a what an interesting choice there. I guess spontaneously introduce introduce myself would be the best option. <laughs> so I am quite interested about that middle option because uh, I guess she would either be incredibly fighter or she'd punch my face. And both would be very funny. I guess spontaneously introduce myself when I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Saki! Naniyo! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I realized that I haven't really introduced myself to you. It's fine, just listen. My name is Makoto Ishihara, 20 years old, and my type is... That's why you say I'm good at it. Don't talk about She's quite a domineering woman, but I'm starting to find her sassy attitude and Lori. But I have to admit, she's incredibly beautiful. In other words, she's hot. <laughs> this isn't bad at all. 
まさか私に一目惚れなんて言わないでしょうね For now, I've got to make an excuse to get out of this awkward situation. Okay, let's cheer for him, Plaid. Go to the stand. But unfortunately, they're sold out of ginger ale. Well, then, what should I do? Well, then, what should I do? Ginger ale sounds like it would be kind of fa fancy. Beer sounds not fancy. So, uh. Hmm. It's, you know, it's been well established that she's a rich girl, so. You know, used to, used to fanciness. I just get some beer. They're all out, so is beer okay? いいって言ったってもう買ってきちゃったじゃないまあ別に構わないけど、まあ、普通ね普通って言ったら普通よ、okay. normal normal. So、much. あなたしつこいわね普通って言ったら普通なのよ We never seem to be able to get a pleasant conversation rolling. I'm trying to change the topic. So, why did you come to this island in the. So, why did you come to this island in the boonies all along? You're summering, even though it's still April. Huh? どうなのって聞いてるの。それにしちゃずいぶん親しそうじゃない。Saki certainly right. Think so too. I don't think anything is going on yet. まだって何よ。これからどうにかする気なの。Not not to my knowledge, no. I can help but stutter. なんだか怪しいわね。Hey, hey, I said there's nothing going on. Don't go asking unnecessary things. What's with this girl? Why is she so concerned about Yuka? Well, I guess Yuka's okay. But I think you're pretty good yourself. Ah, that's so. So you could have used to that or what the knack at the wa. She says that, but considering how much she's blushing, it probably made her happy. For long. It's like he flashes me a smile before diving into the pool. She let me alone. Well then, what should I do? Ready to drink all the beer in the cup? Well, I guess that's gonna be about it. We, uh, I think we're better than we were before <laughs> on her path. Um, so yeah, now I guess now we know that do the dolphin is Izumi. She's the only other one there. We do also know that going, uh, worrying about Kurumi's headache goes back to the lodge to, uh, not back to the lodge, but back to, uh, A little beach to uh, talk to her, so we kind of got the critical scenes out of the way. And screwing up and not seeing Yuka the first time didn't matter, luckily. So, <clears throat> so that's good. All right, well, we hope you folks enjoyed. I shall see you in the next one. Farewell, there, folks. <laughs>